Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Best Hair Buy. But before I get started on all the details, guys, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also turn those notifications on because you don't want to miss out on any of my videos. So just showing you guys some of the items that came in the box. They did include these nice little lashes and then they also included a wig cap and then they also included this nice little glam bobby pin that says lover. And then you also get the bag that has the company's logo on it. And then right here it does tell you that they are giving away a few freebies on the website as long as supplies last. So make sure you guys check that out if you are buying from the company. Now this unit that I will be showing you guys today is their pixie cut curly short bob lace front wig this one is in the length eight inches okay so this one is nice and short you guys have been asking for some shorter styles so here is one right here this one you have your standard cap construction it comes with two combs on the side a comb in the back and your adjustable straps Now this is what the unit is looking like on my mannequin head after I finish customizing it. I did go ahead and style it off camera and I will walk you guys through exactly what I did. But that is what the curls is looking like. I did go ahead and use the She Is Bomb Fuse Foam to mold those curls. Now for today, this will be a glueless install. So I'm going to use my old trusty wig grip. You want a glueless install, you want your wig to sit and not slip and slide then you need to invest in a wig grip. If you are into wigs and you don't have a wig grip, then what is you doing, okay? You definitely need one. So I just wanted to try it on and see how it fit. That actually fit me pretty good. I believe this is an average cap size. Of course, I'm gonna make sure to leave all the details down below. But as you guys see on the side, there is a little bit too much lace left. So I am going to go ahead and trim that off. After I am done cutting the lace off the sides, then I am going to work on cutting off the rest of the lace. While I am doing that, I wanna go ahead and talk about the hairline. Now on the website, it does state that it comes pre-plucked with baby hairs. However, my hairline was pretty thick. I will leave a video down below so you guys can see. So I did have to go in and pluck out a lot of hair. I plucked out a lot of hair. So mine, for some reason, did not come as pre-plucked. And I also did have to go ahead and customize my own baby hairs. Now the knots on this unit, they were not huge at all. That's why I said, I think you can get away with definitely just wearing powder. But however, I went ahead because I was already bleaching other wigs that day, I decided to go ahead and do that also. So as you guys can see, once I cut the lace off, it's looking good. Now I'm gonna go back in with the She Is Bomb Fuse Foam, and I'm just gonna try to mold those baby hairs to my head. Um, I did this on the mannequin head and of course it's set in place, but it was kind of sticking up a little bit. So I want this to kind of, you know, lay really flat and not be flying all over the place. So I'm just putting a little bit on my edge brush and then just going around and just kind of re going over the parts that I already molded myself. And then I am gonna take a little bit of hairs out in the very front. I felt like it was missing something. I was not sure on the mannequin head if I wanted to take any hairs out in the very front, but with it on my head, I just decided to do that. Now, I thought it looked good as is. Now that I'm playing this back, I really didn't have to do that, but I'm already doing it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through with it. I'm satisfied with how the front is looking. I am going to go ahead and tie this down with my scarf. I was gonna put my other wig grip on top of that because you guys know I like to use wig grips to kind of lay everything down, but I could not find the second one. And I'm just kind of going over those areas because I don't want it to look stuck to my head. I want the hair to look very soft because I already know once I fluff up this hair, I want like a really soft look. So I'm just cutting any excess lace off that I see and just kind of re-swooping over the hair so I can be happy with it, make sure it's pushed back in the right place. And then once I am happy with that, I'm gonna go in with my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette in the color light medium. I did go ahead and pick up some new palettes because they had a few at the store. And I'm just going around the hairline and into the parting space, more so to kind of open everything up because as you guys can see, it looked really good against my skin as far as the lace goes. Now this lace is a medium brown color, so I really didn't have to like go in extra heavy on the powder. Now in that one area, when I turned to the side, um, it was looking a little bit light, but I am gonna go ahead and end up fixing that up because it was a little excess lace there, but I'll end up fixing that. My hot comb, I'm just going to press on that one side 
And then I'm also going to press kind of at the top of the unit to take out any type of bulkiness. Now this unit, the curls do not start all the way at the root, so I do not mind kind of pressing everything out. And then you guys will kind of see me try to cut out some of those hairs that were showing. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Garnier Free T Sleek and Shine Serum, and I'm going to run it throughout my hands and then rub it through the hair and just work on fluffing this hair up. And I was trying to get a good feel of how fluffy I wanted this hair. So I didn't wanna fluff it up too much until I was like really happy with how I wanted it to be. But I definitely knew when I styled this unit, I wanted this to be a side part. Now one side is longer, so I am gonna have to go in with my scissors and customize it so that it can match up to the other side. comes to the pixie units i do feel like the curly ones are just a little bit more easier to style and get it to fit your face and also to trim down now this one is in the length eight inches but they also offer 10 inch on the website and then as far as the density goes this one states it's 150 percent i do feel like it's not too thick but it's also not too thin it's like a perfect in between and you know with curly hair you can fluff it up as much as you like it and this might be perfect for somebody who does not want a lot of hair especially with this heat that is going on. My biggest con when it came to this unit was, of course, I did have to go in and pluck out that hairline. It was really on the thick side, but once I customized it, the lace melted in fine. As you guys can see, I'm not wearing any type of adhesive. And then I didn't have any issues with bleaching the knots. They only bleach about two inches in the front. So this is a 13 by four, just in case you guys are wondering. So it's not gonna go really deep back. Now I did not get a lot of shedding with this unit and I really don't expect a lot of tangling. However, this is curly hair. So it is going to dry out over time. So you are gonna have to maintain it and keep it refreshed. Let me know what you guys think about this unit if you are feeling it. It is going to be very affordable. I have a coupon that does last until the 30th that makes this unit no more than $72. Guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. Turn those notifications on, share, and like this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.